Women with mutations in the gene BRCA1 have a high risk of developing breast cancer. Despite their high risk, these women have very limited options for breast cancer prevention. The major options being either prophylactic removal of their breasts and ovaries by surgery, or they can have heightened surveillance. So we were interested in identifying an alternative option, a non-surgical approach for these women to prevent breast cancer. So using breast tissue that was donated by women with BRCA1 mutations who had undergone surgery, we were able to isolate a specific type of cell within the breast, which is marked by the receptor RAC. We believe that this is a cancer precursor cell because it can rapidly divide and grow uh, compared to other cells within the breast. And also it has features that resemble cancer cells. We believe that this is the cell type that is um, most likely to be transformed into a cancer cell within the breast tissue of these women. Most excitingly, this cell can actually be targeted by using existing medications already available in the clinic. The identification of uh, rank on the surface of these cells meant that we could try to actually inactivate these cells before they became cancerous. And using a, an inhibitor called denosumab, which is available in the clinic, we were able to switch off these cells at a very early stage. That uh, inactivated them through switching off proliferation. Um, and in fact, in our preclinical models, we were able to show that we could either delay or prevent tumours from forming. Well, we're very excited by these findings because it means that um, we found a strategy that might be useful to um, prevent breast cancer for very high-risk women, particularly BRCA1 mutation carriers. What that would require next is uh, testing the hypothesis in the clinic through a clinical trial um, involving a large number of women. But our findings to date are very exciting and suggest that that would be well worth doing.